Hi, I'm Manuel Rodriguez, the host of The Midnight Show. It's a great honor for me to be here tonight. The real reason I'm here is because there wasn't a show like this before in Guatemala and I wanted to make it. So I know there's going to be a learning curve in the show because I don't have a network behind me. I don't have writers. I don't have a filming crew. So I have to do all those jobs by myself. So sometimes it's going to be very hard, but I'm going to try to make the best show week to week that I can. Now, before we continue, I just wanted to say I had a couple of calls today. The first one being from Congress, which shocked and surprised me. Um, they were mistaken, but it was nice to hear they went to work because, you know, they don't work very much. Hola, mira aquí confirmándote. Si votas a favor, ya sabes que aquí se te carro, casa, todo lo que querrás y vas a recibir una valija. And sadly, the one I wanted to get, I couldn't get yet. Hello. Hello. But hopefully, hopefully in the future, a man can dream. Anytime a new show starts, everyone has their expectations about how their show is going to be. The truth is it's going to be a work in progress. So it's going to evolve in time because I know I have to adapt it to this TikTok dancing world. So I made a list of things I wanted to happen on the show. The first one being having guests from time to time. The second one will probably get some uh, unexpected calls during your show. And, and the third one is we're going to poke a little fun at politicians because if you look at the world, they aren't the brightest in the bunch. But here in Guatemala, it's, it's not so easy to do it like uh, in America where you can say anything and there will be no repercussions. So I have to be very clever and intelligent in the way I present the facts and how I make the jokes. On that note, we have a new anti-corruption public prosecutor. So Guatemala is finally going to know how it is to live without corruption. Every time I say that, I laugh a little inside. Now, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, we have a new anti-corruption public prosecutor because the last one got in a way kicked out, out, of, the, out of the country. You may think, what the hell is he doing here? Well, this show has been a passion project of mine for uh, almost a year now. And I wanted to start it a long time ago, but I never had the time. And now with COVID and all that ha has happened with the pandemic, I finally had the chance to do so. So here I am. I know most people might not even have an idea of where Guatemala is. So you would say, if you look at the map of America and America was a lady, it would be America's waste. Guatemala is known for many different things. The first one being the Mecca of, of the Maya civilization. The second one, maybe one of the most important is uh, when Arnold fought that guy that came from space or space immigrant for Republicans. Now I know you may be thinking, what is he doing here? Well, this has been a passion a project of mine for a long time. Why use comedy? Well, you can tackle very important, serious problems with comedy and then they become more easy to understand in a way. So that's why basically. Now, if you will indulge me, I'm going to make sure we have a lot of fun. It's always up to you guys. Now for legal purposes, I need to make the next announcement. I am in no way using comedy to get into politics later down the road because I have dignity and I'm also not a corrupt person. Uh, next week's show is going to be very special because of two factors. First one being, we're going to talk about a little of how politics is affecting Guatemala. And the second one, the Midnight Show is finally getting its very first guest, guest Leslie Juarez. She's a hardworking, honest woman, an example to follow. So I hope you tune in. And I just wanted to say, remember, like, comment, subscribe. So see you next week, guys.